all right guys welcome back to the channel so uh, this will be the last tutorial uh, for the uh, penguin flip game if you have not done the uh, the, the first one and the second one so I suggest you to do that first uh, so after you work on the first one and the second one you can work on this last one this is the last uh, and the final uh, change to the penguin game what we are going to make is we're going to make a fish that will fly up and down in here between the ice block and the iceberg here and the penguin can jump over while the fish is up in the air he can catch it if you catch it then you get some extra points so this is what we're going to be working on today all right let's get started so today uh, so we're gonna add a fish first so we'll look for a fish here so we'll type fish so we can take this fish actually this fish actually have a couple of different costume we are going to use the uh, costume but three here I mean this looks like here some wing that it could fly up in the air so we'll be using this fish all right so we'll set up the uh, the fish right now so uh, we'll, we'll go back to the code we'll drag in the event uh, when start uh, we always did that when the green flag is clicked uh, we'll set the fish around um, 50% so this fish is a little too big make it 50% and then we will point in direction um, point in direction 0 meaning that the fish will be pointing up so the fish will be rotated and then pointing up and if I run this you can see the fish is pointing up right that's how it will look like so you see the fish is pointing up with these two code so next I will say hi so we don't want to show the fish when the game begin okay and we have to define a new uh, function uh, for the fish so uh, this new function we can use it uh, to uh, to call the uh, um, uh, different block we can put different blocks in here and then we can make a call later on so we're gonna name it as fish jump so this function is called fish jump so uh, what we do is we will make the fish jump up into the air and then come right back down so we will need a loop here so repeat uh, 20 times then we have to go into here say uh, move a uh, random step basically we want to kind of make the fish kind of go higher or slower and we can use a uh, operator here and say pick a random we'll put 10 to uh, let's say 15 steps and then we will add this weight condition here 0.1 so kind of make the fish uh, slow down a bit when it's moving up then we have to change the direction again we want to point to 180 meaning the the fish is going back down so uh, we'll point downward so we'll repeat it again duplicate this code put this over here so now uh, we'll do the same thing right so the, uh, it jumped all the way up into the air and then it turned around and it come back down that's what this code will do okay now that we have the code done here be sure to click on like share subscribe and click on this notification bell to receive all the latest updates from this channel thank you okay we will make the fish uh, jump uh, by uh, broadcasting uh, some messages so that the fish once the fish receives some start uh, this message will start um, uh, making the jumping action so uh, let's add this here so we'll add the broadcast message here at the end and we we'll make it a new message called setup fish so this is setting up the fish for the for the for the game 
So what do we want to do when this uh, setup fish is called? I'm going to move this over here a little bit. So we'll say when I receive setup, when the fish is getting set up, what I want to do, I want to go here, say uh, go to a random, go to X and Y position. So the Y, uh, we will put it as negative 150, kind of a little bit in the bottom. So as you can see, if you move the fish, you can see right what, what it is. So as you can see, this is negative 154. We'll put it around 150, right? So and then we'll put a X position. So what we want to do is we want to set up the fish between the eyes block and the iceberg here so we we'll have to do look into the position of the x of the iceberg okay so what we can do is this we we'll have to do a random we'll say pick a random uh, instead of a 1 to 10 we we'll have to change this to a negative 50 so negative 50 is somewhere around this area here so this is like kind of uh, zero right so negative 50 is somewhere here. So we want to keep the fish between here and somewhere here. So we're gonna, we will take the X position of this ice block and we will subtract some, some, um, some X value here. So that make it between this, this and this. <clears throat> so what we have to do is we go to sensing. Uh, we have to take this one. And then we will have to also use the operator uh, minus. So we'll drop this in here. We have to select the uh, iceberg first. And we'll say the X position of the iceberg. So you run this, you see X position of the iceberg is 174. So you say, okay, I want to minus maybe 70, right? And then this whole thing, if you do that minus 70, you see this 104. So we'll pick a random between negative 50 and 104. That's what it means. So, oops. <clears throat> so I am going to other zoom back out. I think I zoomed in too much. We have a little bit more complex code here. So we'll put this over here. So I have this right now. So it will be a you no know, between this negative 50 and whatever the x value of the iceberg minus 70 and the y is always in the bottom when the setting of the fish so we also have to say point the fish to the um, 90 degree just in case the fish is up in the air and the fish have to restart again with we'll make sure the point of fish back up and then we have to say show showing the uh, fish and we have to call our block called jump so when we call this say setup fish it will call this method this method will call setup fish again so basically it's kind of like an infinite loop right so this calls this this one calls that and then we can trigger the setup fish broadcast somewhere else too so that when it start it can keep on going so the fish will kind of come up and down up and down here so we also have to set up another um event here so when um okay when i receive we well, with another one set up fish what we are going to do is we're going to put another forever loop here so what we don't want to do is we don't want to combine this together we don't let this one do its own job and this one can also do its own thing because this has a forever loop here we don't want to cause any problem for this right we have to put it under inside underneath right it don't make sense so we'll have to keep it as a separate one so um, we'll need an if condition here okay now if the uh, if the fish uh, touch the penguin or you can say penguin touch the fish is the same thing basically if the if they touch then you know we want to make him disappear and we're going to give some points to the uh, to the player so we touch the penguin so we can say uh, change the score so we will say change the score by let's say 50 points so we get 50 points to the player then we'll hide the fish so that after you catch the fish the fish disappear then it can the fish can come up again so because 
Okay, all right, that's done for now. Um, so what we need to do Okay, so we will actually have to wait until the iceberg finish uh, setting the position Then we have to set up the fish, right? Because we don't know where the iceberg is going to uh, generate So we have to wait until that's done first before we can set up the fish So we have to go back to the iceberg here So after the iceberg receipt, get ready from the penguin, right? So it will set the position uh, somewhere here so after this, we have to call, um, broadcast a message, say, set up the fish. So once this is done, you will, the event will go back to the fish here. So the fish here will have will run these two calls. So it will find the position of the iceberg, uh, subtract uh, 70. Um, because uh, the, when you find a position, the iceberg is probably here in the middle, right? So you have to subtract 70, kind of move it somewhere here. So between that and uh, and then uh, 50, uh, between somewhere here and here. So we'll generate the fish. After that, call the jump. The jump will uh, call the setup fish again. So it kind of the fish will jump up in the air, down, up, down, up, down like this, right? So now that we have it ready, let's uh, kind of test this out and see how it works. So let's start. So as you can see, the iceberg generated, and then you see the fish coming down, and the fish is coming back up. So the fish should never, uh, you know, kind of touch the iceberg. So you see it's generating between here and here, right? So uh, let's, if we stop it again, um, We'll stop it again, we'll start again, the iceberg will come in different location and you can see the fish is kind of between that. So you see the fish is between the iceberg and the and the penguin. So he's always between that, those two points, so this gap here. So because of this function here, we're trying to find the uh, position between the iceberg and the, and, the, and the ice block here. So the fish is always between that. So we can jump up and catch the fish. So let's see what happens if we jump up. So you see, we get uh, 50 points and then 60 points because we landed on the ice block, the iceberg here. So let's try again. So, so we got him. So we got 50 points for the fish and then 10 points for the uh, the uh, the iceberg here. So total 60 and then so that's why you get 120. So. You see, we missed it. We still got the fish, but we we missed the iceberg. So only fifty points. So um, okay, I'm not doing well in this game. Okay, it's all right. So game over. So you see how we game over the fish is still kind of moving. That's not what we want, right? We wanna when it's a game over, the fish should be stop moving, right? So we have to uh, make some code change to, to fix that. So what we have to do is we have to go back to the uh, penguin. So here we see right touching blue color, right? So either he's standing on this eye block or he's hitting the edge. We want to stop the fish. So what we can do is broadcast a new message. You say stop the fish. Okay, so when you do this, it will it will broadcast a message and we can stop it. So we will need a, something similar. So we will also when it touch the edge, we also want to stop it. Say so stop the fish. All right. So now we have the uh, both the uh, the fish um, getting stopped here, and then also here if it's touched the. The blue, basically this iceberg here, or if it touch the edge, basically if it hit on the top here, the bottom of the sea, it will call this broadcast this message. So now we have to go back to the penguin. So in the penguin, so when we uh, not the penguin, so we have to go back to the fish. So when we go back to the fish, um, when we receive oh, stop fish, so we have to say. Um, stop let's go back to control so what we want to do is saying stop other script in the sprite basically will stop everything here 
or this guy here. And then when the uh, penguin uh, get ready to launch again, the fish will start again. So let's try this now. All right. So the fish is up in the air. So we catch it. As you can see, the fish didn't come out right until until I started back over here. So let's say if I kind of lose on purpose, right? So you see the stop, the fish stop moving, right? Until I started again, right? So so no more game over. The fish stop moving, right? It, it should not be still still moving, right? Because we have this, so we can stop the fish from moving. Or you can say you can also add here after this a hide a sprite or something like that. But that, that's up to you. Uh, so pretty much this is how the game works. So um, so I think we got everything. The penguin, right? We got the penguin. The code for the penguin again. I can show you here. So we can go through it a little bit. So you have the code here to to make the penguin flip. This is making the penguin go back to the start. This is the the green flags click. We want to do something like this. Um, what what we want to do with the penguin, right? Making the penguin go to the start position, and this is when we receive the jump. What are we doing here? Checking if it's touching here or touching the edge, right? And then we have pretty much. Uh, I think you understand this. If you don't go back to the previous two video and kind of understand, uh, uh, listen on it again. Basically, this is kind of touching the uh, blue color. Basically, this uh, spike here. If it touch that, you want to give them the point, right? Making the position of the the penguin standing on top of the iceberg and all that, and playing the sound and moving the penguin back to the starting position. If it touch the edge, you stop the fish, and then we minus the life, right? Same thing here. Then the ice block is pretty simple, right? Not not much code here. We just kind of put them in the position. Iceberg, we have one added, one code, right? This one is uh, after the iceberg is generated, we want to broadcast a message to tell the fish to be set up. Before that, we don't want to set up the fish because we don't know where the iceberg will be generating from. So after that, then the arrow, the arrow is pretty much the same as the uh, before, right? We didn't change much. Uh, when, the, when you click on the screen, they will broadcast this jump, which calls the penguin uh, jump message here which will launch the penguin in the air. And then the fish is uh, uh, the same. We, just, we did that today for this lesson. So this one is when the fish, we created the, uh, the, uh, uh, the definition of fish jump here. Uh, we make the fish going up and down, pointing uh, zero. Uh, when we point zero, meaning it's pointing up. Uh, 180 meaning pointing down, right? And then we have these two uh, condition here, I mean two uh, event here. What we want to do is calculating the iceberg, iceberg and the position here between that before the, when the fish to move. Right, this is setting up the fish to see if it catch it, uh, touch the penguin. If it catch, touch the penguin, you give 50 points to the player. So this is just making the fish uh, smaller right in the beginning. And this is stopping the fish basically once you catch the fish. And you land it on here or the ocean, you have to stop the fish from moving, right? So this is pretty much uh, the uh, video. So uh, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we will create more um, good, uh, fun video. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, have a good day. Bye bye.